What is good, YT? This is your girl, Lady V00, and this is the Princess Chronicles, and we are single in the city. Um, I am recording from still my living room, just a different spot, like right outside of my patio, kind of, so I can get my light. Um, it's getting kind of cloudy, but the natural light is a lot better than the light I was using before. Um, like I told you, the new camera is coming. It's coming, but I've been on a clean apartment haul. Like I'm buying new stuff left and right. Uh, I have a new TV coming. I have a new headboard coming. New bed is coming in like three weeks. So I'm buying so much stuff right now that I really feel I need that, you know, it kind of is what it is. Sorry. Okay. So after getting extremely emotional about my topic last week, we're going to come up with something just a tad bit lighter, but a bit just as important. Um, this week, <laughs> the thing that is um, I'm working, working on and focusing on the most right now is finding me um at the age of 31 you shouldn't really be i personally feel like i could be wrong you shouldn't still be finding yourself but it's not something that i'm necessarily learning it's i guess we'll consider it to be a starting over process what i mean by starting over process is i had a very strong understanding of who i was and somewhere down the line i lost that in the midst of the past five years, I have forgotten what I like, what I need, what I want, what makes me happy because I was so wrapped up in this other person. Like I didn't sleep as good as I'd like because I was so worried about what this person was doing, where this person was at, who this person was with. Were they out with their friends having a good time? Were they fucking more hoes or what the situation was? Or when that person was laying next to me, I still didn't sleep good because I was wondering when just when was their phone going to go off and when just when I was going to get bold enough to answer it. It's all kind of other weird shit like that. I lost the understanding of who Valicia was because I was so lost in maintaining an unattainable relationship with this person. So now I'm at a stage where, sorry. Now I'm at a stage where I'm creating a life for myself again. I was never the kind of girl where I was so wrapped up in my relationship that I did not have contact with my friends or I bailed on my friends. The relationships that I had during my relationship, minus one, are all just as strong, if not stronger right now. So as far as friends are concerned, I'm great. However, those friends are also in another city. Um, so at that point, I'm fine. Where I do lack is what I enjoy. Like right now, I'm rediscovering what I love. Like right now, I'm redecorating my house. This couch, this love seat, this couch, all the shit is going. Because this was not what I wanted for my apartment. This was what it kind of was because it worked best for us. Um... Like right now, I'm working on my patio and my flowers and my my gardening because that's what I was doing when I was single because that's what I liked to do. Um, reading. Right now, I am... Can you see that? Anyway. Ayana Van Zant in the meantime because I need her to help me fix my life. In the meantime, finding yourself and the love that you want. Reading. I enjoyed reading. And I did it so infrequently because I was too busy trying to figure out where the fuck this dude was and what the fuck he was doing and what I could possibly do to make him stop cheating on me. Right. Like that became logical, rational things for me to do. Now I'm looking at the situation like, what does Valicia want? What does Valicia want to do? Does Valicia really want to cook? I can cook. No, Valicia doesn't want to cook. Valicia wants to go to work in the morning. She wants to shower. She wants to get dressed. 
She wants to take her precious ass time getting up. She wants to watch cartoons. She wants to do her makeup and get dressed and go to work. She wants to get off of work. She wants to come home, change clothes, go to the gym, work her ass out. Come home and have dinner and either go on a date, go out to go take a walk on the beach, go enjoy herself, not be worried about bullshit, ho shit, you know, like I'm happy now. I'm happy rediscovering things that I like. And that's such a great phase to be in. Like I chronicle, chronicleize. I don't know. I'm horrible with that word. And every time I get ready to say it, I totally screw it up. But I am so happy like recording the journey that is me coming back to me. And I, it feels so good when I go to work and I work with people who don't know anything really about me. And they kind of know that me and my boyfriend just broke up. And now that I'm here by myself, do you know, I can't tell you how good it feels when someone who has only known me since December says to me, I don't really know what's going on in your personal life, but I do know whatever just happened to you happened for the best because you're so such a happier person. And that feels crazy to be in the midst of all the chaos and bullshit to become a happier person. Like I, I wake up, I go to sleep in a bed by myself and I don't wake up in the middle of the night to figure out why the person that should be next to me is not there. You know, I just sleep all damn night. Or I wake up in the middle of the night to go pee and I check my phone and I go back to sleep and that's life. You know, and I'm learning, like I'm going back to 2000, early 2008, late 2007. And I'm saying to myself, what was Valicia doing then that made her day happy? A, Valicia was working like a slave. I love work because I reap the benefits from working. I get paid. So I was working, I was spending time with my friends. I was going out, I was going on vacations. I was doing the things that I loved and now I'm trying to figure out what are those things again. Now the things that I loved at the age of 25, 26 are not the things I'm going to love now, but I am still learning what makes me tick, what puts a smile on my face. And that's one of the greatest things about this experience right now. Sometimes does it get a little lonely? Yeah, because you know, I'm dating a lot of guys, a lot of guys. And I'm weeding them out and I'm picking them out quick, fast, and in a hurry. Like, they don't last more than two weeks. They don't. <laughs> Just don't. But in that process, more so than learning about these guys, I'm learning about me. And that is such a wonderful experience. Like, I almost want to cry again just at the idea of learning Valicia all over again. Learning what, taking what I went through and not throwing a pity party for myself, but learning what I will accept, what I won't accept. Now, when I'm ready to go back out into the relationship world, who knows when that'll be? I really don't think that's anytime soon. But I plan vacations for myself. I'm working out. I'm losing so much weight. Like, I'm just in a happy place. Like, I'm working on my relationship with God. Um, I'm creating, I'm stop letting my apartment be my apartment or my house or my address. I'm creating, this is my home. And it just feels so good to be in a better place. It feels so good to find Valicia. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm finding me. What makes me tick? What I like? What I don't like? What makes me smile? What makes me cry? What makes me give you the side eye? What makes me be me? And it's such a great feeling. And I suggest that every woman do it. You know, whether you're in a relationship, whether you're not, you have to create a time and a space and a joy for you. Like I was so worried about holding on to something that I shouldn't hold on to that I didn't 
have a, a love and a space for me. And now that I have it, I will never lose it. Whether I become a mother, whether I become a wife, whether I spend a, a long period of time again as a girlfriend, I will never, ever not lose this space that I've created for me. It's the best thing I have in my life. And I thank God for allowing me to get to that place and experience it and love it and enjoy it. And no man will ever take that away from me again. Or better yet, never will I allow myself to let a man take that away from me again. So um, that's my ramble. It's getting pretty long. Thank you. Love you. You guys have a great day.